star shining, calling out your name. I saw you riding that one straight way. So take my hand, pull me away. So now we're floating somewhere in space. Stop. No, no, I loved it. Seriously, Aaron, I loved it. Well, it still needs a lot of work. No, 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 it doesn't. It was good. It was great. Come on, cut yourself some slack. It was cute. It was sweet. You're sweet. God, I haven't heard you sing like that in months. I'm not that good. Oh, hush. You've got the voice of an angel there, sweetie. Blessed by the vocal gods. Why, thank you. You're more than welcome. Look, if you were born before all of this shit happened, I can guarantee you, you would be in like a fucking recording booth or something, like belting shit out. You'd be on like one of those charts or whatever. Everyone would be like, oh my god, have you heard Aaron Fowler's new song? She's like fucking amazing. Sure. I'm serious. I'm not kidding. I wonder who's going. You know, Soon that'll be us. Could be. But you know we don't have to do it this way. To get to High Lake Dome, we can find another way. How, Chris? Where would we go? Anywhere! Here, just look on the map. We don't have to stay with the ferreters here in Standish. We can find another way. Like right here, I was looking at the other day. We can head on foot to Oxford. It would only take us a day, maybe two. Chris. And we can find shelter. Or you know, like there's Bar Harbor. I overheard Trevor the other day saying that a group of strays had commandeered a ship up there. I'm not sure if he was planning on going up there himself or if he was rallying up a crew together for a takeover. Chris. I Don't worry about me, Aaron. I'd be fine. This, this stupid needle here, it doesn't define me. None of this shit has slowed us down so far. And what are we gonna do? We're not gonna let it. Exactly. I just don't wanna take the risk. There is none! <sighs> Aaron. I promised I'd never leave you. And you promised me the same thing. Yeah, yeah, I know. We're not ferreters, you and I, Aaron. We never have been. These stupid marks, they mean nothing. They don't decide for us. We control our own fate. And I, I just, I hate, and I mean, hate the way I see them treat you. It's not that bad, Chris. They never treated me that way. You've come home crying so many times, Aaron. How many times has Julian told you the same thing? I'm doing it to keep you safe. No, Aaron. And I don't care how they treat no. me. No, 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 Aaron, don't, don't think that way. Jesus. Look, hey, I promise you, if Julian doesn't follow up on his word, okay, if he doesn't give me the tickets on my shift tonight, then we'll go. We'll leave, just like you said. You don't have to do this for me. I can take care of myself. Honestly, Aaron, I'm worried. I'm worried for you. I promise you, you have nothing to worry about. Promise? I promise.
You're blessed. Damn it. Hey, hey, don't get yourself down. You played a good hand. As always, next time. Hey, up yours, Julian. Hey. I'm the winner here. Show a little goddamn respect. Hey, come on. Take it off. Hand it over. That's it. Fucking dick. Hey, I'm not the one who placed the bet on it. <clears throat> Aaron. I thought you let me do another fucking hand, Julian. Come on, I'll fucking go. Yeah? What's in it for me? Exactly. Now, a little word of advice, a little common courtesy and respect, I could get you a long way. Yeah, no, I'll fucking head over this. This is bullshit, Julian. This is bullshit. Ten seventeen. This is Julian. What do you got? Hey, Julian. So uh, David and I are stuck in here in the old farmhouse. That's our uh, ten twenty. We're here with your boy Trevor. We caught him trying to leave for Bar Harbor. Bastard said he was heading out for some supposed ship, planning on leaving us here in the dark. Please, Andrew. Uh, anything you want us to do with him, Jay? You guys said you were in the farmhouse. Yeah, took so shelter here until the winds blow over. Okay. Dump him. Trevor, strip him of his clothes, toss him in the snow. Cut the tendons in his legs. Hopefully that'll get the message across. Wait! Roger that. What? Over. Wait! Julian! Julian! I'm fucking... I want another. See you, dude. Do you know how it feels? The disrespect? No, sir, I don't. Sir? Please. Aaron, how long have we been doing this for? Exactly. You know, that's a sign of respect, you calling me sir. But you and I, we're way past that. You don't have to call me sir or anything. That's me showing you some respect. I've known you long enough, you don't have to call me sir. I'm sorry. No, don't be. So, how's your little buddy there, Chris? She's good. Yeah? She's doing good? Mm-hmm. She's up and at him. And she's what, 17 going on 18? 18. Her birthday was three days ago. We're actually only about a week apart. 
You know, she was good at this. Your line of work. Except she never showed the same level of respect that I'm looking for. And you get it. I mean, you know, you're a girl. You got numbered here by a group of guys. She tried to fit in. She could be funny. More often she was snarky. Kind of in a bitch way. And that's a shitty way to act if you ask me. Aaron, come back here. Have a seat. So, I just remembered I said we could discuss potential tickets. Yeah. Yeah. Say, you've been at this for what? The last two years or so? About two years I've been on this thankless fucking job. How would you define respect, Aaron? Uh, me? I... Um... I mean, I'm asking you. You're nice. I know you show hospitality. You're there for your friend's little illness. Respect, um, I mean, I'd say it's being kind towards others, well-mannered. Now, how do you show that to me? How do you know you're being kind to me? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm a little lost here. It's a subjective question. How do you know you're being kind to me? I, I, I wouldn't know. I'm not you. I'm not in your head. Is this a trick question? Well, how do you know you're being kind to her, Chris? How do you show her respect? Show it by cleaning up all that nasty fucking puke she vomits all over the floor? What are your manners then? How do you show her respect? I, I, I just do. She's my friend. There's not much more of an answer. Well, how about this? How does she show you respect? Is it that she sleeps with you? Do you let her finger your vagina? That's not necessary. Then what do you do? How does she show you appreciation? How do you show her appreciation? I sing. You sing? Yeah, I, I normally only do it for her. I play her guitar. Okay. You sing. Mm-hmm. 
well, then that's going to be your way up. Your ticket to Highlingdom, the sanctuary among the stars. I want you to sing me a little song. What? Picture me as Chris. Pretend I'm her. I want you to show me the same respect that you show her. Julian, I... You sing me a song. Mm, come on, sing a song. I, I, I don't... You don't know what? You don't need an instrument. You don't need a guitar. You have a voice and you heard me. Now sing me a song. Pick a song, any song. I saw you lay down today. Do you see my eyes? Do you see where they are? I want you to keep your eyes over there. Even if I start to move, keep staring ahead. And don't Stop singing. And I think I found another way. Or from here. Hey, what did I say about looking? Your eyes over there and don't move. And, uh, what did I say? Keep singing! You don't have to play for me, Aaron. We can talk. I'm right here. I'm not going anywhere. Hey, hey, it's okay. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. I got you, Aaron. I got you. I'm right here. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> I'm gonna get you out of here. I promise I'll never hurt you again. And I promised I'd never leave you. We promised. I promised. <laughs> This way.
Shine. 